One handy feature of our Forms Boss program is the ability to import electronic signatures. And let me show you how that feature works. Um, the first thing that you'll want to do um, is to scan in a copy of your signature for your customer or your sales rep, whichever one you're going to use. And, um, and then you need to format that signature in such a way that Forms Boss can use that signature file. So let me show you how to do that. Um, navigate to wherever you have uh, your signature saved on your computer. And then you're going to find that signature. You're going to select it and then right click on the signature. You're going to get open with and down here this little program called Paint that comes with Windows. You'll see when it opens in the Paint program, you've got your signature there. What we want to do is take a look at the size of this signature. So we'll pull up the Image Properties, and you'll see um, we've got the opportunity to view the, the size in uh, certain units. If you click on the inches here, the main thing that we want to make sure is that your height of your signature is not higher than one inch in here. Uh, the width can be several inches, three or four inches um, wide, but the height, in order for it to look um, proportioned well on the Forms Boss Forms, it needs to not be higher than one inch. Um, one thing that you could do if your signature was a little bit too high is that you could get the Select tool here and you could um, select a rectangle around your signature um, and you could crop out the extra white space around your signature and kind of make it closer like that. You would just right click uh, once you had a selection done and then click crop and it'll make that uh, selection just a little bit smaller. Um, the next thing you'll want to do with that image is uh, to save it under the right format. So um, we're going to go here to the menu again. We're going to get save as and select JPEG picture. And you'll just uh, save that signature with the JPG um, suffix on it. I've already saved it, so I'm not going to actually do that right now. But um, once you have it saved as a JPEG, then you'll want to go back to your Forms Boss program. You're going to find the customer that you want to import this signature for. When it opens that customer's record, you're going to click the Signature tab here at the bottom and you're going to get Add Edit Signature. You've got two different options. You'll notice when you open up this uh, Signature um, Edition uh, box, you can either sign here on this uh, line using your mouse or touch screen or you can upload an image file of a signature. Let me show you how to do that since we have one saved. We're going to click here to choose the file. We're going to find where we have that signature saved and select it and click open. As you see it has the signature here at the bottom so we're going to click save and you'll see that it has put that signature in on the signature tab for that customer. If you wanted to do a signature for a sales representative, you can do that as well. You go here to your view menu and get your sales rep form. Find the sales rep that you want to add a signature for. Click on the signature tab. Click add edit signature. And this time I am actually just going to sign uh, within the program here using my mouse.
I'm going to save that signature and you'll see that it has put that signature in for that sales rep right there on the screen. Now let's actually take a look at how to add those signatures on a form. We're going to go back to the customer screen, to the forms tab. We're going to add a form that I happen to know has both uh, signatures on it. going to save that form to our list and when we see that form in our list right here we're going to select it and then we're going to click sign form then you can select the sales rep signature and the customer signature and click OK and you'll see there where it has put in the signatures um, that I have saved um, on the form. In order to actually show you what that looks like on the form itself, we're going to select that form again and we're going to click Export Forms. We're going to scroll down on this form to the bottom of the form where we can see both the sales rep signature and the um, customer signature have just been added right onto that form. So that's just a really handy feature of Forms Boss uh, where you can add electronic signatures to your forms.